Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be comparing uh, indestructible or unbreakable RC car bodies. Uh, for a, a while there, the only option you had was to buy one of these from Russia. Uh, but now, there's another option now. Now, Proline has come out with the Brute Bash Armor. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare these two bodies so you can decide which is best for you. Okay, let's start with the uh, Russian indestructible, unbreakable body. Um, it came in a box from Russia. It took about a month and a half for it to get here. This is exactly how it came, just in a box. Now, the detail is not that great on it. You can tell around the door handles. It's kind of rough. I'm sure this is an unauthorized uh, body reproduction from Russia. But it is tough. And you can tell. I mean, you push. That's pushing pretty strong. It barely flexes. But you have to cut, cut it out. Um, you have to drill your own holes. Uh, one of the good things about it, though, if you have another outcast body, you can slide this over and get your mark for your holes because this is made just a little bit smaller than what the outcast body is so you could actually trace that out and cut it which would probably come in handy and I actually have had this for a little while I just have never gotten to the point to where I've cut it out but I believe these are 80 85 dollars on eBay right now I'll put a link in the description if you like to check these out um, so let's uh, compare to the Proline next. Okay, this is the Proline Brute Bash Armor indestructible body. So let's pop this baby open. That's pretty cool. So it comes in a plastic bag. Pull it out. Hey, look the stickers that is nice that is real nice because the indestructible bodies from Russia do not come with stickers it's pretty solid it's already pre-cut nicely cut too pre-drilled for the post so that's nice you don't have to worry about that you just slap your stickers on and uh, put it on your RC vehicle and take off. Okay, so my final conclusion after comparing the two is I like the Proline much better. Um, this one doesn't come with stickers. You have to cut it out. You have to drill the holes. This one's already cut. It's got the holes. It comes with stickers. And believe it or not, it actually feels more sturdy than the, uh, than the Russian body. Um, I know it gives it a, a new, fresh look. Which some people might not like. You might like just the old truck look like uh, the Notorious and Outcast. And you may just say, hey, I want that Russian body. Well, I'll leave a link to both of them in the description. I just want to give you guys kind of a heads up. Compare the two and see what they're like. Um, have a great day.